In this video, we're gonna discuss the top five areas that I believe are the most affordable areas right now to buy a house in Toronto. I thought this video would be a good idea because I have clients asking me all the time, like Tom, what is the area that no one else knows about that has the best affordable options right now for buying properties, either for primary residence or for investments? And anything close to the downtown core has been figured out. So we're not talking about Junction today. We're not talking about Roncesville. We're sure as heck not talking about Riverdale and Lesseville. They have been figured out and they are expensive. So what areas are left? And not just areas that haven't been necessarily figured out yet, but what areas are the most affordable? So what I did to put together this video was I looked at the past three months of sales data for only detached properties. So this video is not gonna include condos, townhouses, or semi-attached. We're only looking at detached properties, sub $1 million. So I went to the MLS system and I took a look at properties that had sold under a million dollars over the last three months and picked out the top five areas that I think there are still great deals in the city of Toronto. But just before we break into the list for this video, if you like this type of real estate content, if you could hit subscribe, hit like on this video, and ring that bell if you want similar content. And if you want to book an appointment with me, uh, in the description there's a link. You can book a buyer consultation, a seller consultation, or just a call to chat about real estate. So first up on our list is a neighborhood called Mount Dennis in Toronto. So if we take a look here at Mount Dennis on the map, it's located at about Jane and Eglinton if we zoom in here. If we zoom out a little bit, you can see exactly where it is. So it's west north. Now it's past the junction, it's, it's past Rockcliffe, but there's a lot of homes in this area that are extremely affordable. We actually just sold a house in this neighborhood that got 16 offers on it, so the demand is starting to form in. So if you're looking to buy a property sub a million dollars, I would seriously consider Mount Dennis. A lot of money is coming into that community right now. I think long-term for future growth, based on the increases it's seen compared to other neighborhoods over the past few years, there's a huge opportunity there. The second most affordable neighborhood in Toronto is Rockcliffe. So if we take a look on the map here, so Rockcliffe is just a little bit south of where we were just talking about in Mount Dennis. And actually, when I took a look in terms of how many properties were available for detached sub $1 million, there was 17 that had sold in this pocket in the last three months. That was actually the most out of any other areas that we're gonna talk about today. Now, a lot of the areas we're gonna talk about today are actually in the west part of Toronto. However, we're gonna to jump to the east now and we're gonna talk about Birchcliff Cliffside. So if we zoom in on the map here, uh, this is the cliffside area. You're very close to the Scarborough Bluffs. There's a lot of actually condo development going on in Kingston. If we pull out the map here, you can see how close you are to the water. In terms of driving to downtown Toronto, it's not that far. It's a really great area and the Bluffs is there. People love going there. St. Clair is just a little bit south or sorry, north, excuse me. You got Danforth Road going down. A lot of great properties in this neighborhood, sub $1 million. Okay, so next up on the list is probably actually my personal favorite. This is the area that I've been recommending a lot of people to buy in for the last five years because I saw what the growth was going to be and it was Caledonia Fairbank. So if we look on the map here, it's located at Dufferin and Eglinton. And you got this big pocket here of homes right across Rogers Road, Caledonia going down. Now. Eglinton right here has the LRT coming. And I know we've been saying that the LRT has been coming for a long, long time now, but it will eventually be there. And what I'm finding in this neighborhood right now is there's a lot of opportunities still available, sub $1 million for freehold properties. And a lot of people that have lived there a long time are either moving on or passing the home down the family. And there's a ton of money being injected into this area. I've seen a lot of infill going on in this area and I think long term with the LRT coming, transportation, it's still close to downtown, you're still close to getting on the highway, this is one of my favorite areas moving forward. And number five on the list for most affordable neighborhoods is Oakwood Vaughn. This might actually surprise some people because Oakwood Vaughn is fairly well known. But if we take a look on the map here, so Oakwood Vaughn is just a little bit uh, to the east of Caledonia Fairbank, what we were just talking about. Um, Humewood Cedarville is more expensive because of school districts. But if you take a look at Oakwood Vaughn here, you got a ton of options. And if we zoom out here, close to Casa Loma, you're not too far from going over to Forest Hill. You can get on the highway easily. There's a lot of great opportunities in Oakwood Vaughn. So the reason I put together this video is just to show you that homes do exist in Toronto under a million dollars. And even though the average sale of a detached property right now, the average price is like $1.8 million, there's a lot of opportunities that do exist, but you're not going to find them in the core of the city. You're not going to find them in Midtown. You're not going to find them in downtown. You have to go a little bit west or a little bit east, depending on your preference. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. As always, if you have any questions, please throw them below. What do you think about these areas? Is there any that I missed that you think should be on this list? Thank you so much for watching. And remember, home is where your story begins.